Hi everyone. Hi everyone. <laughs> we are in Hong Kong Airport right now, sitting yes. down in the Centurion Lounge with a troop of our uh, group members. We all are visiting Italy and and Switzerland. Yeah, and for how many days are we going? Eleven days. Okay, I think we are going for twelve days. All right, so let's say hello to everybody. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. Aradana di and diptom da. Cheers. And Devaje too only holding the drink Cheers since evening. Coming eleven days. Switzerland and Italy. So now we are ready for boating. It's almost eleven thirty. And the boarding already started. Here is Siptamda, wife, Aradhanadi, and Devada. So, I'm hitting so fast. Yeah, I saw it. So now, let's go ahead and board the flight. Good morning from the flight. We are still around four hours away from Rome. Had a pretty decent sleep, not a great one though. Movie time. So here is Raj watching movie, and that's Bianca. Yeah, after 13 hours of flight, immigration is cleared. Now we are taking this limousine to go to our BNB, and from there we'll be going to the Colosseum area and also the Vatican City. So. Nice view is just outside of the airport and hope we'll be having a nice uh, relaxing day. So catch you all soon. Oh, they have pretty cold in here, much cooler than the usual days today. Okay, say hello. Hi. 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 Good morning. Here we are in our first Airbnb in Rome. And uh, it's a little bit messy, but it's a beautiful place. Messy because it's all our jackets and everything in here. And that's our sitting room. Devata is already enjoying some music. Niptamda is busy. Busy singing song and enjoying with the kids outside. That's the kitchen. Brenda is busy. Preparing coffee, and that's uh, outdoor view. Beautiful outdoor view. It's a little bit cold outside, but it's so nice out. Very fresh air. It's kind of perfect weather. Outside is like seven degrees. Inside is like twenty degrees. Raj and Dev are enjoying as well. So we are now in the Colosseum, Italy. Everyone is taking pictures. And oh, careful. They're hiding. I'm not sure why. So that's the Colosseum. A great historic place. So we'll be going in in a couple of minutes. We are waiting for the guide to be ready and take us inside. Hopefully this is going to be an interesting tour. Last time we came in here because of a big queue we missed out going in. But hopefully this time we are going to have a nice time. Okay, so we are just outside of the Vatican City now. And then there are so many birds around. Dave and Raj are very excited to play with them. As you can see, they're rushing after the birds, trying to feed them. There is an actual monumental building, the historic building, where the Pope resides. Uh, quite crowded. 
Last time we went inside, there were like thousands of people queuing up. But it's still worth the visit because it's historical and probably once in a lifetime. If you do not come or plan to come to Europe frequently. Good morning from Rome and now we are on the way to Venice. Almost missed out the train but we had to have a seven minutes shocking in order to catch it up. And here is a lovely sunrise as we are going to Venice. The train would be three and a half hours. What are you showing the picture of the train? <laughs> yeah, I said that take the video of us running. So right now we are on the way. Successfully we successfully arrived 750. So we are in Venice right now. We are taking the speedboat. It will be taking us to Grand Canal and to the center of the Venice Carnival area. Costed us 100 euro and that would be a trip of around 20 minutes. This is the public transport and this is 20 euros per head. And against to the one which we are in, which is 100 euros altogether. But the 20 euros is a whole day trip as pass. That's kind of slow, so that's why we choose to take the speedboat instead. For time's sake and also to have our personal time. Yes, yes here we are in Venice. That's safe. And he's crying. Diptomna Yanka. Are you the Jolla Hatch? Yes, yeah, so that's Venice, the beautiful Venice we always see out in the movies. So now we are in the center main attraction of Venice. This is a very, uh, one of the landmark places I should say and it's just right next to the shore. The kids are playing happily. Yeah, yeah, let them play for a while. Running after the pigeons. Lots of pigeons out here. This is the shore. The water is not particularly very clean. But it is overall what it is. And it's popular the way it is. We are exploring the streets of Venice. A very inside of the streets of Venice. They told you get the stroller with me. Okay. And we are going back to the port for catching up the ship. This is an historical place. Pontonate Taretrevi. And? Very difficult to pronounce for me because I don't know the language Spanish, French. So, but it's a really lovely place. You can see yes, the it's a architecture and the sculpture of. Very beautiful place. Beautiful place. 
I think this is Benedict uh, yes. 14. Benedict 14 is. Right. It's also a very big tourist place. So you can see there are lots of people. And it's so beautiful. Huh? Okay, wonderful. I have some shops around. Okay, this location is called Spanish Steps. And apparently seems it's built by Spanish people, obviously. And uh, also one of the landmarks. Very beautiful buildings uh, surrounded. And look at that nice deep street all the way going inside. That is one of the most remarkable landmarks of Rome. Many gladiators' bloods are in here, but it's beautiful. Surrounding area is quite busy with lots of traffic uh, we just came down from the Michelangelo step right now hopped down over there in the bus station and we are now on the way back to our Airbnb so now we are here to see David one of the most popular sculpture created by Michelangelo. The weather today is slightly hazy. The sun is less. Devada is busy in his phone. I think this is the real one. There is only one David here. A very beautiful, magnificent outside view of the city of Florence. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful. I wish, again, the sky was a little bit more sharper. We could have seen the mountains. There is some haze. But again, this is really one of the most scenic places in entire Florence. Okay, this is the old town of Florence just next to the church an important landmark for tourists so here are the tourists the last time I came here I recall flying drones and here you can see a statue a human statue as an original person just standing over there remaining completely still how hard is that how much effort they need to put for that and these are some more other sculptures which are very very intruding like people gladiators fighting against each other These are beautiful. This area is the ancient church. One of the biggest monuments. Center of attraction of the entire region of Florence. You can also go in here, but then it's going to be taking quite some time. It's a big queue all around. Okay, we are in the outskirts of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 
and that is the tower we are now walking into. It is around 3 p.m. in the evening. And let's say waiting for his milk. Yanka is making milk. And there were the So everybody takes quite interesting and artistic pictures of the tower which is leaning of kicking or pushing against the tower. Let's see if we try something like that today of the pizza. Mr. Leaning Tower. Now we are in Lucerne and we are going to Brienz. So you can see Devada is sitting, Aradhanadi is sitting, not very clear. It's been a long day of just traveling around in different trains. But the good thing is all the stations, all the trains are quite relaxing. Yes, this is almost one and a half hour journey. So let's go inside. Bianca is looking for toilet. That's the inside of the train. <laughs> because it's almost time for the departure, that's why people are running in. Hey, we are almost at the end of our destination. So it's a real, real great feeling. Lovely sunny day also. Thank Finally, we have a sunny day when we are all day in, inside the train. When we reach Switzerland, at least we can see some lovely blue sky. Hello. Hello. We are going. We are now in Switzerland. Going to the Zentral. Time to leave. We are in our second BNB. It's called Chalet Romantica and it's very romantic. And you can see Devada is already enjoying his romance with his pictures. Mm. And we have got some outdoor area as you can see here. Nice outdoor area. Right in front of the lake. Let's go indoor. And this is the dining space, the sitting space with the TV. And as we see here is the kitchen. Still on the way to Grindelwald. <laughs> this is Grindelwald, the junction in between our place, Rienz and Jungfrau. We are on the way to Jungfrau, waiting for the train now. The train will be arriving around in 15 minutes of time. You can see some high raised mountains. Yang Fro welcomes us. It's also written here in Hindi, if you can see, and also Chinese. Now 
Yangfrau is located at 4,158 meters. 4,158, that's right. Higher up from the sea level. So it's pretty high up. Let's go up and check what's in there. That is the height. 11,782 feet, 3,571 meters. So that's Yangfrau, Switzerland. This is Ice Palace. So the whole thing, the entire cave is made up of ice. Papa, can you hold my hand inside and walk? You have to try to walk by yourself. Going back now. Huh? 4,158 meters high. Super chilly, cold here. The breeze is pretty strong. Uh, it's a uh, yes, snow of Europe. Skiing. We are on the way back from Jiangfrau to Brienz. Hello. We cannot see you. So this is the last day of us in Switzerland. This is the apartment we are in. That's a sitting room. Everyone is very relaxed. Balcony. Okay, so we are now in the ship to Luzon. So now we are nearby the Chapel Bridge. This is the Lucerne train station. That is the Chapel Bridge. Durga Pujo! Durga Pujo!
This is Chapel Bridge. We are on it. Cleven Alp, sixteen hundred meters. The view here is breathtaking. Paragliding. And surprisingly, the temperature over here is quite optimal. So we don't really need to wear gloves, unlike we did in Jankra. Universal uh, yoga, and somehow it's to bring the leg up, and then I have that somehow. I, maybe it's a little bit too much. I'm the What the hell? I told you what? Mind your language. What do I mean? Mind your language. There's something that, yeah. Mind your How about language. I'm a This is as close to the falls we can come. Top of Mount Pilatus. This is popularly known as the peakest or the steepest place for the gondolas. So if you can see this gondola coming over here is the steepest gondola of the world. It goes very high up. The angle is quite steep. It's like around 70 degrees. That's why this is a special mountain to visit. 3,000 meters high up the sea level. So can't really see the starting point of the gondola. And before the gondola, we had to travel around 20 minutes in cable car. So we are going to walk up there now. Here is just simply breathtaking it is so so outstanding and beautiful we are at the top of the mountain now this is the peakest point of Mount Pilatus Thank you. 